So we have cosine, no, 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 same thing. So we have cosine of 75 degrees. And the question I need you guys to um, answer and just kind of bring up some thoughts to me. Um, obviously, we can evaluate this by using, um, we can evaluate you know, this. So I'll ask Nicholas, if I was going to give you this on a problem now, we haven't gone over a problem like this. But if I said, hey, could you evaluate cosine of 75 degrees, what exactly would you do to solve that? That's exactly what I'm asking for, right? You can evaluate all of your trigonometric functions by just plugging in the angle and evaluating for cosine, right? You make sure your mode is in degree form, and you can evaluate it. And you're going to get some answer. What, 0.288 or something like that? I can't remember. Huh? 0.2588, and that's going to go on, right? Now, I will tell you on your test, that answer is not going to be one of the selections you can choose. Or if you take a standardized test, that is not what we're going to be looking for. You can see this is the little proximate, right? Because this is actually going to be irrational. It's going to go on and on. So what we're going to be looking for in this class is finding the exact value. Exact value. Now, why can't we find what we know right now what is going to be a problem with finding the cosine of 75 degrees? So think about what we've found, what, what we evaluated so far for, you know, what angles we've been able to evaluate for in degrees. Why is there an issue with evaluating for the cosine of 75 degrees? Chris, you want to give a shot? What's the problem with evaluating cosine for the exact value? We've done it with other angles. Why can't we do it for 75? Da, da, da. Nobody wants to raise their hand? Nobody else think? Uh, well, can we evaluate for the cosine of 30 degrees, the exact value? Can we evaluate for that? Without using a calculator. Can we evaluate for a cosine of 30 degrees? That's why I wanted to kind of have the, that's why I wanted to use that you know, wrong homework quiz that I did. But either way, we can go back to this. So why, how can we evaluate for a cosine of 30 degrees, right? Remember, cosine, we look at 30 degrees and say, oh, that's one of our angles that we can relate on our unit circle. So if we know the unit circle, right, that's 30 degrees. Remember, the cosine of 30 degrees represents our x-coordinate of where the point crosses the unit circle. Right? That's the point. Yes? So we can evaluate this by the exact answer of square root of 3 over 2. Right? Does everybody remember that? OK. So Justin, why can't we do 75 degrees? That's right. We don't, have the, we don't know the exact point on the unit circle. So far, we have only talked about 30 degrees, 45 degrees, and 60 degrees. Right? That's all we talked about as far as points on the unit circle. And the only thing I told you guys, if you have an angle that produces a point that's not on the unit circle, then we have to create a triangle, right? But if you look at this, all right, so we'll create a triangle. Fine. Create a triangle. That's 75 degrees. We know cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. But does really creating a triangle in this type of problem really help us out? No, there's nothing like that's going to really help us out. Obviously, if this was maybe like a point or something we could use, but it's not a point. We can't evaluate this. So using the triangle is not going to help us out. So what I'm going to give you guys is some ideas. If cosine of 30 degrees equals square root of 3 over 2, let's take a look at cosine of 30 degrees, cosine of 45 degrees, and the cosine of 60 degrees. And you could talk about 90 degrees as well, too. Um, but let's just focus on these three right now. How does these three angles relate to 75 degrees? And think of addition and subtraction. So Maggie, do you maybe have an idea? How does 30, 45, and 60 relate to 75 in terms of addition and subtraction? They are all 15 apart, but how do they relate to the number 75? What could we do with addition and subtraction and se with these numbers for 75? Oh, you would. Yes, Mackenzie? You can add 30 and 45. I can add 30 and 45, right? So it might make sense to you to say, now this is wrong. It might make sense to you to say cosine of 75 degrees is equal to cosine of 30 degrees plus the cosine of 45 degrees. Right? Now it's wrong. But do you guys see how 30 plus 45 equals 75, right? Yeah. OK. 
So that kind of makes sense of how you can add those, but that's not the right notation. So what we're going to be doing today, as you guys notice, we're talking about the sum and difference. So what we're going to do is learn how to evaluate angles by adding and subtracting angles that we know we can evaluate for, because we want to find the exact value. So to do that, the correct notation in this case, if I want to evaluate for the cosine of 75 degrees, the way that we write it is cosine of 30 degrees plus 45 degrees. Notice I'm adding them in within the function. All right? So what we do with this is now we have a formula. And don't worry, you don't have to memorize the formula like some of the other formulas we've like been required to know. You guys will be provided these formulas. You are going to want to write them down, obviously, and use them for your homework. But when you guys take a test, you will be provided the formulas. Okay? So don't worry so much. You're like, oh, I don't know if I can remember this or not. So what exactly does this, um, what exactly is this formula? Well, if I have the cosine of two angles, u plus v, where in this case we could call this u and that v, the formula is for any angle cosine of u times cosine of v minus the sine of u times sine of v. All right, and that's just one formula. One formula. All right, well, it's not so bad. If we say that this is u and this is v, right, Kobe? This is u and this is v, then I could say, all right, well, if I'm doing cosine of u plus v, that means this is the cosine of 30 degrees times the cosine of 45 degrees minus the sine of 30 degrees times the sine of 45 degrees. Remember like algebra one, you just plug in, right? U is 30 degrees, V is 45 degrees, so you just plug it in. But now, this goes back to your homework quiz that I want you guys to do as far as evaluating, all right? So now we have to evaluate. So we have to go back to that lovely unit circle that I tell you, told you guys at the beginning, we really need to make sure we know. So right now we have our two angles, 30 degrees, which is square root of 3 over 2, comma 1 half, and 45 degrees. Square root of 2 over 2, comma, square root of 2 over 2. Does everybody follow me at this point? Does anybody have any questions or like stoppages and say, well, explain this one more time or this part? Allison, good? Ramad, good? Sean, good? Everybody feels good. All right. So now, let's just go through this. Remember the cosine of any angle equals x. The sine of your any angle equals y for the coordinate point that's on the unit circle. So the cosine of 30 degrees is the square root of 3 over 2. The cosine of 45 degrees is the square root of 2 over 2 minus the sine of 30 degrees, which is the y coordinate, which is 1 half, and the sine of 45 degrees, which is square root of 2 over 2. All right. Notice how I don't have that cosines anymore. Right? The cosine of 30 degrees is equal to the square root of 3 over 2. That's the exact value, and that's what we're trying to do. We're not trying to estimate like we did up here. We're trying to find the exact value. Hold on. I'm not done. I'm not done. Take me two seconds. So now, as I multiply this through, the square root of 3 times the square root of 2 equals the square root of 6 over 2 times 2 is 4. I'm not done yet. 1 times square root of 2 is the square root of 2 over 4. All right, but now we can combine these fractions. Well, actually, even before you guys can do that, you can see that they have common denominator and they have a common numerator. So what I can do is factor out the square root of 2 over 4, and that's going to leave me with the square root of 3 minus 1, which will be your final exact answer. <laughs> 